can't let you go any further. Come on, John. I go here, John. You see me all the time, John. You know John. I need to see your ID, man. You know I need to see it. Goes for everybody, man. All right, here we go. Is that good enough? Okay. You got to go. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. Head is mad at black, got the boosters black to match. Riding on a horse. And then he was like, exams aren't cumulative, but knowledge is cumulative. <laughs> what? That is so stupid. By the way, guess what I just heard from someone? Oh my god, what? Well, I just heard. Can you believe what Franco had to do for that patient interview in Dr. Clutch's class? No, that was ridiculous. You know, look what he just sent me. Is it another food video? No. What's up, guys? It's your favorite creepy old guy, Hirsch. How's everyone doing? I had to go to the gym three times this week because they had me doing 80 hours of lecture in one day. Can you believe that? It's ridiculous. By the way, my dog Rocky, he's doing great. Have you guys seen a picture of him? He makes all the girl dogs go crazy. Oh, by the way, did you guys see my new tattoo? You see it? I'm tenured. It's so I don't have to keep reminding Zoe. It's ridiculous every time. By the way, did you guys see I have a big UFC fight coming up? Watch out. I'm coming for everybody. See you later. Oh my god, guess what? Did you hear? What? Are we getting our summer back? No, that's gone forever. But I just heard... <laughs> Okay, so let's start where we finished last time on ISO standardization. So this is what the instruments look like. Uh, I expect you to know the colors of the files, the lengths of the files, the working lengths of the files, the differences between H and K files, the taper of the files, how many times the files were used before you used the files. You know what? I decided right now with academic affairs that we're going to have a quiz. Okay, so if you could take out your iPads and uh, access this quiz. The password is Currywurst with a capital W. That's Currywurst with a capital W. Uh, and also you will have two minutes to answer these 10 questions. Uh, so go ahead and get that done. Let me know if you have any issues. Thank you. What? What do you want, Sean? Unbelievable. Oh. Good morning, you beautiful people. I haven't had my coffee this morning, so be nice to me. Today we have a guest lecturer, Dr. Smithkov, on dental processing. Give him all your beautiful attention. Thank you, Oswaldo. Appreciate it. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Uh, you know, thank you all for coming out today. Um, let's get started, shall we? So let's. Oh, before I start, I just wanted to show you this photo from my travels. Um, it's it's really beautiful up there. If you ever get a chance to go, I would highly highly recommend it. Um, so before I begin, I just you know want to make sure that I take the time to thank my close friend and personal confidant. Um, she's been the guiding light of my whole dental prosthesis journey with this whole part of it. And um, overall, just an incredible person, uh, Dr. Vicki Petropoulos. Just, you know, a round of applause for her. She's amazing. Okay, so moving forward, I figured we'd play a little bit of uh, some Jeopardy. I felt like you guys might have a, have a nice time with that. So, so we're gonna do that today. 
Um, not, it's going to be like the seminars, but just a little bit different, you know, it's, so don't, don't be concerned. I'm just worrying about attendance, so it's, it's okay, don't worry. Um, so, you know, you never know because you might be on Jeopardy one day, and so you have to, you have to be creative. So we're going to be doing anything but denture processing. That's going to be our category for today. You know what, before that, let me, let me take some time to just go into the category. Sorry. So if you see up there, we have tidbits about Francis. Um, this is about, you know, just little things about myself that I said in class. I feel like, you know, you might pick up on them and it'll be cool for you to, to remember that. Okay. Uh, gypsum. Gypsum, just as you know, incredible material, best stone out there, nothing better than it. The Golden Nugget. Um, can't say enough about it. It's just a beautiful place. You really should go check it out. It's in Las Vegas. Uh, you'll really enjoy it. Um, Francis and Francine, my wife, I, I would love, I'm really glad to, I wanted to conclude her in this. All right, so, uh, so let's get started. Uh, who wants to choose the first uh, option? Yes. I'd like to fix about Francis, what's your number, please? The number of mandibular central incisors that Francis has. So you're close, you're close. Um, actually, I have three central, mandibular central incisors. And I, I didn't know this myself, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, but my, uh, I was in the lab, I was working one day and my, my clinic instructor came over to me and she told me that, you know, Francis, you have three mandibular central incisors. I don't know if you noticed that. And my head was blown, I could not believe it. All right, all right, let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, who wants to do the next option? Could I get Francis and Francine for 500? The location that Francis and Francine visited on March 8th, 2018. Hmm, this is a toughie, I know. What is White Sands National Monument in New Mexico? Wow, I, I can't even believe you got that one right. That, that's, that's incredible. Yes, what is White Sands National Monument in New Mexico? It, it was an amazing time up there. You know, I was a little tired when I ran up, but overall I would highly recommend a uh, beautiful, beautiful place to go. Okay, thank you, Dr. Smith Goal. Okay, you guys, listen. I've kept my doors open for all of you. My house door, open. My car door, open. They've all been open for you guys. And you're all taking advantage of me and I don't appreciate it, okay, you guys? You come into my class at 8.50 a.m. and it's just not okay to come in to take the attendance quiz, okay, you guys? Okay. Anyway, I have an extra credit quiz for all of you. How long will it take you guys to complete one set of complete dentures? I'll have the faculty come around and collect all the papers, and then I need you all to go straight to lab because we have a lot to do today. Okay, you guys? Okay, see you there. Okay. Oh. I think I'm ready to be graded. Oh, good. Very good. Very good. Sweet. Let me. Okay. Um, also, I just I just sent an email out for the past class. Could you check for me if you got it? Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, I will let you know once I get it. Okay. Could you please okay, take a great. look at my work? I don't know. Yes. Yes. It's it's uh it's very good. But can you come with me to take a look at a presentation I made for next week for your class on PPE? Yeah. I mean, it will yeah, only yeah, take yeah. a second, dear. Okay. It will only take a second, sweet. Come, come with me, come. Oh. Okay. By the way, do you live at the hub? Uh, no. <laughs> I guess this just about does it for my hourly announcements. I heard 
Dr. Coburn still had hair the last time someone started reading one of her emails. I finished my occlusal rims before I finished reading one of Dr. App's emails. I guess I could cut it down a little. Perfect. You're welcome. Oh, miserable as usual. Oh. Young lady, how are your wax rims coming along? Well, I came in a lot of times over the weekend to work on them, and I think I'm still having like a few small issues, but the main thing is there is literally no U-shaped wax anywhere. Any chance of seeing any of the uh, U-shaped wax for the coastal rims? I have to read you both arches. Coastal rims? seen any but um maybe you should ask Patrick. It's crazy we never have enough materials in the school for anything that we need. Anyway, so just to confirm for the mandibular occlusal rib and the posterior, are we supposed to be going to one half the reservoir pad or two thirds the reservoir pad? Definitely two thirds height of the retromolar pad. And just remember that Max and Mandy need to be in intimate contact when they're on the articulator. Max and Mandy are very good friends and they need to have that smooth and flowing outline form in the wax to make sure that they are in very close, tight, intimate contact. I think my articulator is broken now. I don't know what to do about it. It's, it's not working. I'm going to need to go talk to Alan about that. Thank you. I just got back from the nicest weekend trip to Israel to meet oh, see my grandkids. Oh, I don't say. Yeah, they were just so wonderful. The guys were so big. Oh, that, that they are. And we went to this amazing beach. It was so oh, incredible. Oh, you know, it's familiar. I've yeah. never been there before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but Dr. Hare and Dr. Corbin sent me this to you. If you can check it out, I think there's something wrong with it. Oh, all right. Let me take a look here. Okay. All right. Voila! You know what, Alan? I deserve a shark tooth. Okay, give it to me. Come on. Look at you, Mr. Fix-It. How do you know how to do all this stuff? You know, you know what, what can I say? Like, I, 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 I play every instrument. I, I know how to fix all of them. I spend a lot of time doing this. I'm a scuba diver. I fix all that equipment. I, you know, I, I, I was just in Hawaii. I was scuba diving there. Where do you think I got these shark teeth from? I literally took the shark. I ripped these out of its head. So I'm a pretty handy guy. You know, come check this out. Hey, Dr. Rubium, can you take a look at this for me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, no. Uh, hold this. No, hold this. Put it here. Ah. Uh. I think we need to redo it. Какой ужас! Что это? Так че это? За что это здесь? Я ничего не знаю. Сидите. Вот сейчас. Все чисто.
Алло. Да, 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 привет. Как дела? Все нормально, да, спасибо. Угу. Так, давай, Рима, эти не ладно. Ой, я не занята. Я, я сейчас не занята. Я могу сейчас Oh, hello, Jen. Hi, Dr. Yako. How are you? Good. Do you mind taking a look? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Jen, do, do me a big favor, big favor. Uh, what country are you from? Uh, it doesn't even matter, Jen. It doesn't matter. Uh, you are the best dentist in the whole world. Wow. Okay, toodles, Jen. Best wishes, Jennifer. Hey, what's up? Hey, have you seen Dr. Mina anywhere? I think I really need to get this graded now. Mm, no, I haven't seen him in like 20 minutes, but I'm sure he'll show up. Did you hear the big news? No, what? Well, no one's supposed to know this, but I found out that a Dr. Maggio is leaving her position as the head of Geraldine. That's impossible. She's been here for like 21 years. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's true, and I uh, heard that she's retiring and taking up a position at the Bryn Mawr practice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dr. Mina, I didn't see you there. Do you mind actually grading my work? So you've all probably heard the news by now and it's all around the school, but yes, it's true. I did get a new Burberry jacket. Um, but also, I'm going to be leaving my position as director of GRD1 faculty at the end of June. Oh darn it, better get my ortho residency application recommendation now before she bolts. It's really been an honor serving you guys as your queen, I mean, as director of this course for the last 21 years. But the practice in Bryn Mawr calls. Oh, but Siti, Margaret, who's going to help the students get ready for clinic? Well, it's not finalized yet. But the students depend on all of you to succeed. It's really nothing worth fighting over. Do you want to go get coffee after this? Yeah, you know, why don't we go shopping too? Oh yeah, I want to get that coat that Margaret has. Sounds great. Good! So I wish you all the best of luck, and it has been an honor working with you all. I have to go now. I need to finish thinking of an option K and L for my operative final. Ta-ta! Hello beautiful people. Okay, can everyone please sit down quick so we can get started? Okay. I know you've been working on your occlusal rims now for the past nine months, but we really need to get the move on now, okay? Okay, in order to help, I will be here for lab sessions, after hours, during lunch, 
on the weekends, on holidays, on the leap year, until you graduate, until you retire. Just know that I am here. You can call or text me at any time and I will sit down with you to work on your occlusal rims, okay? Because we really need to get the move on now and get this done. I care about you all, okay? Anyways, the faculty, I know they're out there and just found out that Dr. Maggio is leaving and all want to be the head of GRD. But I really need you all to help the students, okay? Okay, because I can't be everywhere all at once and no one knows what they're doing, okay? Okay. Wait, what? There aren't any faculty here. Wait, Dr. Nemes, where are all the faculty? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. They're probably somewhere fighting for the position or something. Sorry, I'm late. I was in the faculty practice and oh, I have to go write a grant. I, you don't need anything else, right? I'm just joking. Wait for them to come back from lunch, okay? Okay. This is unacceptable. Where is class council? They're not doing their job. Wait, Neil, Neil, what are you doing? Wake up, we have to go. What do they even want us to do about this? I don't know. I don't know what they want class council to do. We have nothing to do with this. Our class always expects this kind of stuff. Like, it's insane. Who do we even ask for help about this? Oh, there's Patrick. There's Patrick. Maybe he can help us. Hey, Pat. What's up, guys? Do you know where the faculty are? I don't know either, man. I've been moving stone and bite blocks. You guys don't know how to make occlusal rims. What's going on around here? I feel like I'm babysitting. Oh, no. Let's go find Alawi to help. Sorry uh, about yeah, that. I think that's better. Not bad. You want to make stupid people do stupid things? Students. Please make the stupid people shut up. That's appropriate. I'm going to keep this one actually. Open up my file. Add means for future reference. That's, that's for the that's for some later date. This looks like one of our D4s. I have this lecture I have to finish and I'm not motivated. You know what? Let me finish my to-do list. I need my I need to figure out what to do. Uh, school's ending. What more do we need? Um rechange the summer schedules. And then 
five, change them again. Okay. One hour later. I hate ladies so much. What up, Dr. Lally? Dude, English bro. Uh, what, what's, what's going on? Can we have a minute of your time? Sure. You already have it. Um, so there's no faculty desk. For crying out loud, the privacy screens are mandatory. We keep telling you that. Enough with your class and, and these screens. Uh, thanks. Maybe we can have that later. You see, this isn't really helping the oh, issue. I'm sorry. What's up? So there's no GRD faculty downstairs. Do I look at the giving tree? Speak to Dr. Nieves, talk to him. We've talked about this before also. Your council, what do you guys do in the council? Okay, no problem. Right, thanks. 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 Uh, before, before you guys go, before you guys go. Uh, let me show you a case that I'm putting together for your, for your lecture. Uh, I want your input. Uh, this is your patient who comes in. And she presents with with this lesion here. How would you describe it, Neil? Uh, I think that's an ulcer. Okay. Do you recall what the predisposing factors are for ulceration? Uh, I don't see how this is helping with the issue. I Fake think. lips. Oh. Fake lips predispose okay. to ulceration. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is you. This is you as a dentist. This is your patient now walking in your office, right? What's your approach? You get your history, you find out where the patient was, when it may have happened. It turns out that she was sitting in her high school, just, just sitting around, just lounging around, when all of a sudden she says she bit her lip. Okay, so fake lips, big fat fake lips, predisposed to biting. And uh, you ask medical history, you ask for what else she may have done. Turns out she was drinking Red Bull earlier that day. So she's a little wired when she bit her lip, understandable. Uh, what's your approach? What questions would you ask me first? Where are the faculty? Yeah. Keep your mind on, on the task at hand right now, please. What's, what questions would you ask me? No, no, no. Before you leave, please. This is useful. This is fun. It's meant for your educational uh, uh, advancement. Mm -hmm. At least do this, please. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get back to you yeah, on that. Yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll do you want to you freaking later. graduate? I'll, I'll email you later, Dr. Do you want to graduate from PDM? <laughs> Neil, Herda? What? Look at this. What are you guys doing in here? Get back in lab. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Dr. Mano, wake up. We gotta go to a meeting with Dr. Maggio. Look what time it is. Come on, hustle up. Perfect. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, wavy when I turn it on. All through my city, 
all from my home We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, ooh I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally Come on, like the way we rock it So don't stop I'm so sorry for failing the rubber dam practical. Thanks for staying after school to remediate with me. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Dr. Dr. Coppin, for teaching us about the S curve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Ash, for teaching me what a feral is. Thank you, Dr. Ash. We love you. We love you. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Dr. Horsey. You always gave me perspective on why I'm here and why I'm doing this. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yaku, for always telling me that I'm the best and for thinking of me every time you see a commercial for The Secret Life of Pets 2. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. K. Thanks, Dr. K, for all of your help through adventures. Thank you, Dr. Ibrahim. We love you. Thank you, Dr. Coburn and Dr. Ab, with the help, all of your help with my dentures. You know, I really struggled through that one, but in the end, they turned out fine, shockingly. So, thank you so much. Okay, I want to appreciate uh, Dr. Harris for all the patience he showed with all the, you know, past students with Gayley, but we really enjoyed the journey. And I want to appreciate Dr. Harris for all those uh, chart teeth he gave me. I really like it. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. White, for making dentures terrible. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Smithall. Thanks for being so patient with us in PRDP. Not RPD. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Bowder. Your positive spirit made lab so much better. Thank you, Dr. Bowder, for pushing me through to the finish line. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Dr. Yakov. We'll let you know when we find Nemo. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Dr. Dr. Abraham, Abraham, for all your advice and help this semester in dentures. And for taking your time individually to help you help us. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Smithall, for all that you taught us, including loads and levers, although none of us still understand what's going on. And thank you for your vacation advice. I'm going on the Alaska cruise this summer. Thank you, Dr. Matzak, for coming in so uh, in on Saturdays and helping us out and being patient with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Crawford, for being there along every step of the way for dentures. It's been a long ride, but we finally did it. Thank you for all your help. Dr. Y, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. You really helped me through some difficult times and I couldn't have gotten through Fixed Pros or GRD in general without you. Thank you to all the course directors, Dr. App, Dr. Maggio, Dr. Nieves, and Dr. Smithko. Thanks for putting up with all our class concerns. We love you guys. We love you, thank you. And all your lectures were great. <laughs> So keep it.